How's it going? This video is about the JM50. I wanted to go through uh, tearing it apart, uh, showing you what the combustion basket looks like after I tune it, um, and also uh, any discoloration, if we have any hot spots, anything of that nature. Real quick, and that is the oil line. It's coming off the fuel line, and it's got some extra slack, so as I push it together, it'll create an S bend and, and, and and find its spot without getting in the way. Um, you know, this usually isn't that tight, but what happens is you'll start creating ridges on here from bending it because I've taken, put this on so many times. Uh, so it starts to, to get tight in here, which isn't a bad thing because you're gonna have some, you know, it's gonna be airtight, but um, I'll keep struggling with it here. I'll get it off in a second. All right, so I got the uh, I got the thing apart finally. It was kind of a pain in the ass, but um, it's just you know after a while these things start to rough up a little bit, so they, they want to stick on the inside. If you have any oil on them, they actually that oil will take up space and make it really hard to get together. As well as on the out here, you want to put that together dry. You don't want to put any oil on there. It's just gonna cause problems. Uh, but let's take a look at the basket. Yeah. Here, let me show you this real quick. Looks like I got a little, little uh, heat coming. Actually, what that is, that's the bottom. That's the bottom of the axles because you can see my fuel inlets are right here and they're on the right side. They sit. When I run it, I, I run it like this. Um, and it looks like what that is, it's just oil dripping out of the, out of the uh, or, or gasoline uh, residual as it's cooling down. And then it touches the hot. The hot aluminum and it, it it leaves a mark um it's not a burner it's just like it's rubbing off so that's good it's just burnt oil like in your pan or something um so this is the front head i, I got away with just four of the screws and they they hold together the the diffuser to the uh the nozzle obviously right and they keep it centered Okay. Originally, I had I had an oil line in this one, and I plugged the hole, um, and went ahead and I, I instead of using a completely separate oil line, which made no sense to me because you don't want to have all these accessories on your plane, or for whatever reason, you just you want to minimize. Even propane for me is too much, but I have to we have to get to the next phase of things here, and that that's to incorporate a a, a glow plug. Uh, igniter the kerosene uh, to be able to ignite the kerosene and not your standard RC glow plug but a, a ceramic tipped uh, glow plug that has kerosene injected onto it um, but this this is the combustion basket and you'll see what I did is I've been experimenting when I make these I'll use silver solder uh, all these burn marks that's from me torching on it to, to melt the solder in here there's a high temp solder, 1300 degrees. And, um, you know, I, I went ahead and I, I used the high temp silicone on the outside. Cause you want this to be airtight. You know, you want to be able to directionalize and tell the air where to go. You don't want, you don't want uh, any leaks in it cause it's just going to undermine all your tuning. So because I was testing and running a prototype model, I was kind of curious as to how this gasket sealant would hold up for two reasons one it's it gets expensive because I can use a whole rod after a while of, of s silver solder and, and that just becomes really expensive uh, the second thing is is I wanted to see if I could get away with uh, coming up with a, a different method that would be easier for you guys to put this stuff together because not everyone can MIG or TIG weld this thin stainless steel sheet without damaging it even the spot welder even the spot welder can create a hole if you're not careful so that that's kind of what I was experimenting with and look it looks like we have uh, a winner here this would actually work except that is really not ideal 
it's going to eventually want to break off or, or the oil the oil makes it very easy to, for it to, to come off so mm, you can get away with a few runs you know you're not going to be powering your your real airplane with it um, you know as far as you're not going to get in it and fall out of the sky and die because it's a model so you could probably get away with running it a few times have some fun but I would suggest silver soldering like I did the inside here you can buy yourself a roll for 20 bucks make sure you got plenty of flux on there and braise that in between the walls there um, this is stainless steel so it, it, you have to get a little hot but um, it, that works well and I've done that I just because I was experimenting I didn't want to go through uh, wasting a stick of solder on a basket that wasn't gonna work but now this basket actually works really well so I'll show you what I did so you see the uh, the holes are indented let me see did I bring that out here with me I did not um, <clears throat> what I do to get these holes indented like that is after I build the basket and I've got my rear my rear disc inserted in the back here let me pull off the nozzle guide vane this just sits in there really tight it's not gonna go anywhere What I do is after I after I complete the basket and I put this rear ring in I'll put a bearing in here a, a 10 millimeter bearing 8 millimeter bearing and I'll put a, uh, a hose clamp around it and I'll tighten it down with a wrench or a screwdriver you know the end of the screwdriver and it'll create an indentation and I'll move on to the next hole I move on to the next one and I'll do that all the way around and what that does that draws air that that coaxes the air into it so as, as you're looking at it you'll see that the air will start to glide down it'll actually be forced in there and now what else I did is I as I ran it I, I uh, the second time I had run it, it it ran pretty good the first time it stayed on um, and it, it self-sustained but it didn't idle perfectly and a lot of the flame was coming out the back so what I ended up doing is um, and I think what happened is I had pulled these the holes were too far forward I, I wanted to directionalize them into the inside um, and I didn't have let me pull the fuel I didn't have all oh, these flame tubes I only had five I had five fuel line in there or inlets in the manifold and it caused it to uh, not get enough air so it was running cold so the fuel would end up spitting out the back and the air that I was shooting in there wasn't helping it was also tossing it out the back so what I, I ended up doing was I added some more holes in the back and the, the vapor tubes that run into the front these these tubes all run into the front of the basket about right near right up in the front here and they have the little fuel inlets, the fuel manifolds, look at that gasket. So, and then these shoot it on the inside, and you want to make sure you don't go too far in with these things. Okay, you want to you want to bring them back towards the rear end because you want that heat to heat up that fuel to heat up as much of this vapor tube as you can. And this is what I use for the vapor tubes, it's stainless steel. This is obviously a bigger size, and if you recognize it, you realize that. It's stainless steel antenna tube. Um, it works great. And what I've done is I've taken map gas to it. And I've tried to melt this. And there's no melting. There. And I'll show you something else I've done. There's a lot of people question whether, whether, I'm going to come back to this here in a minute. Um, a lot of people question whether you can use, you can braise the, solder, the, uh, the, the combustion basket, you know, um, because it gets hot. Um, and, and you can. Uh, the reason being is that it's being impeded with air so like this front portion here you can braise that you can braise this it's not going to affect it. it's not going to melt you can even braise the vapor tubes in I used to tack these in and what would happen is I would get almost done and then I would tack one in and it would damage the insert <laughs> and it would create holes and it would create imbalances of air so what I end up doing is experimenting like I did with this 
So I used silver solder and I brazed these all in. You know, I used plenty of flux, clean the area, and brazed them all in. And they work fine. I've done this, I've done this a lot. And, and you're not gonna melt these things, no matter how hot it gets, because the air is coming in through the back. And again, if you have ever brazed or in the in, with the wind blowing, you're not gonna be able to braze, you just can't do it. So that actually is, is a pretty good method of putting these in there. And so you'll have uh, all your vapor tubes on the inside and they work just fine. Also, I want you to take note of the the holes in the basket. You know, they're directionalized on the inside. If you look, you'll see I have twice as many holes in the inside of the basket than I do the outside of the basket. And that's to create a balance. And I'm talking about the big holes here. And even in, in surface area as, felt as, well as, as well as the front holes. And what that's doing, that's creating a balance. So as the air comes in, it's not just going out these big holes because they're the easiest way out. It's also balanced itself out and made itself go into the inside here, which is going to travel alongside the axle hub and try to and remove some of that heat. So that you've got a good balance between the inside and the outside, as well as these. This is the propane line. These are a little long, I think, but they work and they heat up the vapor tube and then as you start to add liquid fuel which will cool down your engine if you add too much of it um, but they hand off the flame to the liquid fuel so, and right now i have someone that wants to come and be a part of everything and they've been running around in the background causing noises and this is jet this jet I got two black cats in the way. This is Lily. Alright. Say hi, Lily. Meow. 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 Take it easy.